I guess if you were to ask for a perfect vision for a interdisciplinary art collaboration, I would say, well, the dream, the vision would be to have all the different fields. Okay, this is a vision as in money isn't an object, time is not an object. So you could have artists visiting the other disciplines for a month, full time, living in that discipline. And then they come together a year later, make or try to make something for a month, leave it again, come back six months later, and then another six months they make the final work. Why? Because Understanding the other art forms is really important when you collaborate. If you're working with an architect, if you're working with an opera singer, if you're working with a dancer. And only sometimes by going into those art forms can you really understand them. But also having time and reflection from what you've made and being able to be critically objective about what you've made is really important. And I think there's many oppor brilliant opportunities like Traverse when different disciplines can come together and you can be inspired by other art forms and listen to anything from scientists to chefs to artists talking about their work. But only I think by going into those feels can you get a deeper understanding and it also can it give you a language because one of the challenging aspects of interdisciplinary collaborations is the language so how do you find that common language and then so that's the first layer and then the second layer is even then to look at cultures because so often you're working across cultures so how can you understand the difference from making a work in Buenos Aires, to making a work in Singapore, to making a work in Riga. Because all those different countries will approach it differently. But that's the joy of working in disciplinary wise, because you are constantly learning from those other cultures and it's stretching you. And you're going into unknown territory. Yeah, and it's obviously the future because many, many art forms and boundaries are becoming much more blurred. So whilst the artists are all making extraordinary multidisciplinary work, and I'll talk more from a British side than I will globally for a minute, I would say the, the frustration for me um, in Britain is that the funding bodies are still very regimented, music, dance, theatre, visual art, design, which is problematic, but more so the journalists are still very stuck in their art forms and I crave the day when a lot of the old guard, and I'm talking UK nationals here and I'll get shot for this, <laughs> but I really want the old guard to step aside and to let the next generation in, who grew up in this multimedia immersive world and who understand it and can talk about it, who don't always look for narrative, but actually look for a life-changing experience because that's what good art is. It stays with you and it changes your life.